And while Coleco, Mattel, TI, There are new rumors that IBM will again go after the home market. At the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas this past weekend. There's a revolution going on. Something is happening out there. Something that's expanding your world. Small computers are happening. Commodore has introduced a new, more powerful... Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer. Commodore and Atari are still battling it out in the low-cost computer wars. The world's number one selling home computer is now in a family pack, the Commodore 64. Computers have become just one more item on the shelves of mass merchandisers like this little Commodore VIC-20 really got the low-cost computer business started with people able to go out and buy a small computer for just a few hundred dollars. Suddenly, personal computers have become the business of at least 25 manufacturers, with three companies, Radio Shack, Apple, and Commodore, grabbing three quarters of the market. The armies of young people are blasting away. The so-called home computer market is estimated to be worth about... The managers at two computer outlets say they're selling five to ten systems a week to people who want computers for all kinds of uses. Everybody you know who has served Doctors, lawyers, farmers, teachers, the schools, everybody. Sunnyvale, California. Atari reportedly will be coming out with a low. 1980. In 1980, Americans spent 3.3 billion. Atari also reportedly. His home computers. His company, Commodore. The home is the biggest market. That will be the biggest market for the next three, four years. The computers are suddenly becoming a factor beyond business. Overnight, manufacturing personal computers has become a half billion dollar business. And in the future, uh, those personal computers, a lot of people anticipate will be as ubiquitous as the telephone. Watch that. That's where it's going to start. Those kids are not afraid of computers. They'll use advanced technology to enrich their lives. They'll understand about the world. They won't just listen to it. Computer stores have become the neighborhood soda shops of the binary generation. The disciples of young and old of smart machines. It's the generation of creative computing and interface age of small personal computers. toy for a while until it catches on, but I think people are really starting to see a real need for home computers. It produced a low-cost home computer capable of doing more than playing games. A whole generation is being weaned on computers. Manufacturers say that guarantees that computers will become the household appliance of the near future. It's about the beginning of a new age, launched by the tremendous force of a revolution. A revolution in communication and information.
invention was this tiny microprocessor. In 1950, it would have taken a room full of computers to perform the data processing functions of today's microcircuits.